to life and liberty. We're all created equally in America. And we're going to live here happily in America. Our founding fathers crossed the seas and built the new world colonies. The King George wouldn't set them free, so they fought a revolution. The American Revolution. How we the people here decree we've the right to life and liberty. We're all free. Hi, my name's Diane. You're currently watching the Just Kidding Round Show. Thank you so much for joining us. This week we have invited a very special guest into the studio and she is uh, worldwide acclaimed. I hope that's fair enough to say. Her work is sold all over the world and she's taught all over the world and um, you're a member here it says of the prestigious pastel society of america and we'll find out about that later so i'd like to welcome you doris jean to our show Thank if you. she looks familiar and you know her by another name doris jean office oftentimes go, goes by the name dory and she currently teaches at sp at South Puget Sound Community College. And you've taught there for eight years, is that yeah. right? Okay, and before we get started, do you wanna look into camera two? That's Bruce's camera and say hello to somebody. Uh, hello, my daughter, Colleen Kemp. Okay. And she helps me in the sidelines with my art artwork for years. Okay. And I'm always happy to have her to do such a good job. And, and, and where does she live? Uh, she lives in Olympia. Oh, good. And, uh, She'll be sure to see this. Show. Yes, yes. Right. And I'd like to say hi to my family who lives in Tacoma. And I'd also like to say hi to the students at Lydia Hawk. And sh another shout out to the students at South Bay Elementary. And hi, Mr. Feeney. <laughs> Mr. Feeney's been watching my show since the very beginning, <laughs> which was many, many years ago. <laughs> So, Doris, let's start. Can we start by talking about this container? Yes. I've, I'm I've got going to, to show, show. We've got to show this. I don't know if any of the cameras can pick this up, but there's rice in here. And uh, right before the uh, cameras started rolling, I asked Doris Jean about why are these pastels sitting in rice? What's that about, Doris? It's about keeping the pastels clean. So the um, rice rubs against them and keeps them clean so you don't have to clean them. And that's what that's for. And, and it really does keep them really clean. Okay, I've never heard of that before. Yeah. So if you're at home and you have a collection of pastels, you might want to consider having um, them in rice because then it, they don't get all uh, messy. Right. But you have to make sure that you get the cheapest rice, long grain rice. Okay. You don't want to use brown rice or uh, what is that, minute rice. Okay. You can't use it because it doesn't absorb any How of the pastels. How interesting. Yeah. So that's a... Uh, uh, Just the cheapest, uh, cheapest rice, rice. 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 Okay. All right. So if it doesn't work for you the first time, you got the wrong rice. Right. Exactly. Exactly. All right. And... We opened on some paintings and we're surrounded by these cards. You sell these cards. Yeah. Um, that's how I met Doris, mm -hmm. Dory. I, yeah. I met her at an art exhibit and we met about five months ago. Yes. And I bought quite a few of your cards, but these cards are miniatures of uh, some of your... Um, it's all of the paintings that I've sold. Of all the paintings you've sold. Yes. So we're looking at one now. I don't know. which. What's the story on that one? Uh, that is the ocean shore. And I was standing on the shore, and it, and it was pretty violent. And and so that's, that's what that is. There was a lot of wind blowing that day. A lot of wind blowing? Yes. Okay. Yes. And can we see another one of her pieces? Yeah. Is there another piece? And what is this piece? Now, that's the Tulip Festival in Mount Vernon. Okay. And I used to be in that show for nine years. And oh. uh, this is one of them. And... Uh, Okay, and is there another one? And what is now, this? Now, this one is Lopez Island. 
Well, press, is that somebody trying to do their laundry no, outside? Exactly, exactly. Okay, and you know what I've heard? I've heard that whenever you enlarge anybody's artwork, that the flaws start showing up and you right. get surprises. But yes. with yours, your details are perfect. Yeah. Oh, you, I'm sorry. You don't, I, yeah. There's oh, not any is, surprises. Is this one back there? Is that, that one, one? What is that? That one is kind of out of my imagination. Out of your I do a lot of trees. I okay. love doing a lot of trees because I was born and raised in Oak Park, Illinois, and not very many trees. So oh, when really? I came here, I was overwhelmed with the beautiful trees. You're from yeah. Illinois, but you yes. ended up out here yes. and you love the beautiful trees. Yes, yes. Yes. Wow. Traveled the world and settled here. I love that one. That yeah. is one of my favorites. Now, and what are we one? looking at which now? Oh, those are the oranges, I yes. think. Yes, yes. Now, that's, mm -hmm. the, that's done from real life. And those are paintings that I do one a day. You do and, a painting every day? Uh-huh. And for still life. And ah. I paint still life in the wintertime and in the warmer. Now, this is the warmer weather. I paint out of doors. Okay, now what, that's not, that looks like it's snow. What is that? Yeah, well, that's kind of my imagination. Out of your imagination. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was an assignment at the college. At well, South Puget Sound College? At South college? Puget Sound College. So you and give your students assignments? Yes, and... yes. But they copy my work. And, okay. and so I had them do a painting that... Uh, was all blue. Uh -huh. The second painting was two colors, which has got yellow in it, the opposite of the color wheel, or orange. And then the other one was three colors, but this okay. is the middle one. And there are some There's oranges some again. There's some oranges for still life. And you said every day you paint one yep. painting of yep. still life. What do you do with all your paintings? Oh, I display them, or I give them away, or I sell them, and... Wow. They go, believe me. Yeah. And uh, now besides teaching at South Puget Sound, you teach in Everett right now, don't yes, you? Yes, yes. So how, yeah. how do you get to Everett all the way from? On the bus. You take the bus to take, Everett and yeah. teach an eight-hour class up there? Yes. And you and do this how many times a month? Twice. Twice, twice a month. A month. So, oh, that's a beauty. Now that's Mount Rainier. That's Mount Rainier. And this is all done in pastels, This is right? all done in soft pastels. Soft pastels. I have a series of uh, Mount Rainier paintings. Oh. And, uh, and you sell larger size. Oh, yes, that, yes. That looks like a barn. It is. From the that's Midwest a, or something. That's uh, Lopez Island again. Oh, Lopez Island. Yes. That's what that other one yeah. was. Lopez you know, Island. I painted a lot of paintings in Lopez Island. Huh. I think a lot and of artists live up there. Yes, they do. They yeah. do. Yeah, a lot right. of artists live up there. Right, right. Must bring out the artistic uh, qualities in people. Yes. So. Well, it's a small island, and you can go uh, and see a lot of different things in a very small period of time. Uh -huh. So you can get a lot of different paintings. And that's why. Yes. So what are we going to do today? Well, I'm going to show you how to paint... Um, clouds in a very short time. Okay. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start out painting the clouds right here. And I'm going to go very, and this is kind of a hard soft pastel and I'm okay. pressing really hard. Now, I want you to do the same thing over there. Okay, we've got to and hold it so the camera sees oh, yeah, what here. we're doing. Yes. Can you, so, okay, maybe can if you, I put it right like can this. You see that? Oh, camera two. I'm going to take down yes. the lemons, I guess. What about this one? Okay, Are you we take okay? them down. All right, take that. And uh, this is a piece. Can I even hold it like that? Yes, is that yes, all right? Yes. This yes. is a um, mountain piece. Then, and I'm just I starting don't know where on I'm it. I'm supposed to aim this. And she's just starting. Right. This is the first stage. And it start, you start on, on blue paper, I see. Yes. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Yes. There it is yes. on the screen. Yeah. And look how quickly she just whipped out those clouds. Right, right. She did but let me show now. you. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Oh, don't don't yet. take it. No. Okay, all right. It was okay. all focused in oh, that. Oh, sorry. It's all right. It's okay. all right. Here, why oh, don't here. you go ahead and okay. I'll hold it like this oh. and, and okay. I'll be your easel. How's okay. that? Okay. 
Well, this is what I was going to do. I was going to start blending it a little okay. bit and putting it in. So first she used the side of the pastel. Right, and I'm going to kind of do that. And that kind of uh, hooks it into the cloud. I into think the that's sky. the master's hand. Right, you got to right, know just how right, to do that. Right, right, like that. And that's there. not all even either, no, is it? No, And now I'm going to add a little bit more right here. And I'm pressing really hard on this. Yeah. Now, I'm also going to take a little bit of this shading and put on. And, and you don't put it on real straight. You kind of wiggle it a little bit. And why? There. Oh, how beautiful that is. And um, why do you have to... Use your hand. Why can't you just well, use because, a glove or something? Well, no, you don't want to do that because it takes too much of the pastel off. Oh. And, and you have a lot of pressure that goes on your fingers. Okay. And, and so now like here, I'm pressing very, very lightly. I'm all barely right. touching it all. Okay. Now I'm also going to put a little bit of dark. And this is all and, part of the cloud. Right. Now, we do a lot of blending with our fingers in the clouds, but not the rest of the painting. Mm -hmm. it's all. And you te do you teach um, every quarter at South? I teach three teach quarters, and the only quarter I don't teach is in the summertime. Okay. But I teach... Uh, so they can sign well, up, and they, yes. uh, it'll be a pastel class. Right. Do you ever use any other medium? or? Uh, we use medium? oil pastel. Oil as, pastel. As well. But okay. it's, um, it's pretty simplified, the oil pastel is. This pastel is a little bit more complicated because if you noticed, I um, layered it. This is four layers already. Yeah, you did. And so that's more how of a fine art. Is. Is that, see I, don't, how, I don't know where I'm looking. How, see how you can there see, it is. see okay. how it's blended. How many different colors did you use on this whole the uh, mountain and everything? I probably use about 40 colors. 40 colors yeah. on this? Yes, yes. Oh, my. But I don't have them all out yet. Yeah, yeah. But And these pictures that people looked at before we started yes. talking, are those all done in pastels? They're all done every in one soft, of them? every single one of them. Done is in soft done pastel? In oh, I would have yeah. thought they were watercolors. No, they're all so soft So everything pastel. you do is yeah. a soft pastel. Right. This is the fine art method is what this is. Now, the other method is more of a drawing method where you let the paper show through. But here, I don't let the paper show through in this technique. I cover it all. See, this is the paper color right there. Oh, that's See why that? there's 40 colors then. Right, because right. This is blue paper, right. and this looks right. like blue, but it's right. not the blue paper. Now, I'm going to put a warm color right here. So I'm going to get that, see, it's kind of hard to see, but I can, and, and see, I'm blending that a lot now because there's a lot of pastel on there, mm -hmm. and that's what you want, but you want to gradually get it. You don't want a big bunch of it right away. Mm -hmm. You just gradually build it up. See, I've already used four colors, um, plus there was one color on there already, so I've already done five colors. And uh, whatever I put down here, then I will put up in the in the in the clouds as well to kind of balance. Oh, the to paint. balance it. Yes, in okay. color. Do you have favorite things that you like to? Oh, I love to paint the clouds. I love to paint the clouds and the trees. Uh huh. And I love to paint the animals because okay. I I paint people's dogs and cats on commission oh, really? from real life yeah from real life and how long have you been making a living as an artist uh probably 60 years wow yeah 60 years yeah. and right now you teach you currently teach in olympia at south sound at south puget sound community college yes. i leave that p out all the time right but you're also teaching at everett community yes. college yes. the same quarter right not no i'm teaching everett in uh at an art shop on oh, an art shop i'm not at the college not there. at the college no i'm not at okay. the college but you're still a very very busy yes person 
I cannot believe I'm so busy at 83. Yeah, at really. 83, you're so busy. I cannot but believe it. I met uh, I met Dory actually at an art show. So I didn't meet you at a college or teaching no, a class. No, and This summer, last and, summer. And I have three shows in Olympia. A coming year. up? Oh, a year. Now so you the do Christmas three shows. show, the Christmas show is coming up yeah. the 1st of December. Okay, and, okay. Uh, and so, so I have, and I have a lot of miniatures, but, not really miniatures, small paintings. Uh -huh. I have to correct myself on that. Yeah, and uh, we were talking earlier about some of the places you've taught, and um, is, is it true you taught in Japan? Yes. Okay. Iwakuni, Japan. And what did you teach there? How did you end up I in Japan? Went, well, I was a Navy wife, and at the time, the war was going on in Korea, I think. And uh, so they wouldn't let a Navy wife go overseas unless they had a job. Oh. So I had to go down and apply for that, uh -huh. even though I was a Navy wife, because I wanted to go, and my husband had, had applied for me to go with the children. And so I walked in, and... Uh, the young uh, Navy man, he said, well, what do you want? I said, well, I was applying for this. He said, what do you do? I said, I don't know. I'm a housewife. Well, he said, tell me, what do you do? And I said, well, I do paint. Ah, there you art go. teacher. Oh, art teacher. And so that's how I That's start. how it all started. That's, so when I got to Japan, they put me in the Japanese schools. Oh. And th at that time, those young Japanese children had never seen a white American oh, woman. <laughs> they probably stared and, at you. Uh, and they just, they really loved me. They loved yeah. And they didn't want to learn the Japanese art. They, they wanted to, to American art. Yeah. They were so but hungry. But this, for. to me, looks compatible with Japanese art. Yes. Don't they use yeah. a lot of pastels and watercolors? No. They don't? Although, they soft uh, colors. no, the, uh, they use watercolor. Yeah, okay. Water. A lot of watercolor they yeah. use. Softer, yes. Yeah. And, uh, well, mm. they use sumi ink is what they used. Okay. It was ink. And... Uh, did you use that or use pastels? Oh, or? I I did learn how to paint in in Sumi, and I used to teach it at my art school mm -hmm. in Redmond that I had for twenty seven years. Ah, that's what I was going to ask yeah. next. You yeah. you taught in uh, Japan I, years ago, and you right. currently teach in Olympia right. and Everett. But in between that time, you taught in Redmond, Washington. Redmond for how long did you own your own? Twenty seven years. For twenty seven. And it was years? the Redmond School of Fine Art. Redmond School of yeah. Fine Art. And did you painted there and yes. gave lessons? And I wrote a book there too. Where's the book? Pen. Well, I still have a few copies left. Uh -huh. But uh, I'm writing two more books now, too. Okay. So, but it's kind of stalled because I'm pretty busy with getting ready for the art show. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Well, you're a busy, yeah. busy person. Yes, yes. So, um, beautiful work. And um, I bought several of these cards myself. Yes. This is called White Picture. Right. So, what? How many would you say in your life that you've painted? Is that a dumb well, question? Well, no, <laughs> hard to... I do not know. But I'll tell you this one thing: last June, from June of last year to December of last year, I painted 150 paintings. <laughs> Oh my I goodness. paint lots and lots so and if, lots of paint. In 60 years, you've probably... Oh, thousands. Thousands. And yes. so your work's all over. Yes. And we looked, Doris Jean, up on the internet tonight. Oh, somebody's got white picture up. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yeah, that looks white good. White picture. I can't... Yeah. I love you guys. You make my paintings look so beautiful. Well, <laughs> <laughs> they're just taking the small... But there was originally a larger... Picture yes, of this, yes, yes. That's which you larger. make small, and now the camera. Well, guys, they Jim make it smaller, one. and my daughter does that. Oh, she on the does computer. that on the computer for you. She does that for me. Okay. And I think she does a really good job. But we looked Doris Jean up on the internet. Yes. Just tonight mm -hmm. in the studio, 
And I was surprised at how many hits we got. Yes. You're yes. a very well-known girl. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, all <laughs> over know. the place. Yes. So, um, and could you tell me about this, um, what is this prestige, prestigious Pastel Society of America? Yes. Is this something you have to join? Yes. Well, what you do is you apply for it. But they start, this one woman started it in New York, I think it was about 30 years ago. And, uh, and all, because pastel was so misunderstood and we couldn't get in art shows or anything. So she started it and, and it just became a really famous uh, place for really good pastel artists. So not just any, I couldn't. No. I no. couldn't join? Even no. if I paid the money, I couldn't no. join? No, you have to pass their rigid judging. Oh. And when I joined, uh, I sent in my word, uh, I sent in the application, so every day I'd look for an answer. One whole year <gasps> I looked. And finally I thought, oh, you know, they just probably dumped my application in the garbage can. Oh, my goodness. A couple of days later, I get a phone call. I was accepted, and they said I was one of the first pastel artists accepted in the Northwest here. Oh. And they said I actually painted better in soft pastel than all of those knowledgeable people back in New York. Oh, is that right? Because what I did was I started the soft pastel painting with soft pastel, and I never put any other medium under it. Oh, other and, pastel artists put a different medium under it. And so then they don't qualify for the... Okay, but it took a while. I wonder why it took a year. I don't know, but it sure took a which long pa time. Which painting did you send? Is it one of them? Uh, no, that... Uh, actually, I had gone and I painted three paintings in one of my art studio's backyard. Yeah. And they were trees and uh, some of their house. And um, when I was in art school, the art teacher always used to say, if you really want to win any awards, paint from real life. Oh. So I went and I painted that. I got in. Oh, I got wow. in with because I painted from real life. From real life, rather than your. And I paint from real life most of the time. Uh huh. Most of the time. So yeah. interesting. So you have to apply for this. Um... And right. And uh, so I'm now working on being a master pastelist. Is that where, in the same organization? Yes. And you have to win three major national awards. And you have to get in. And you've won national no, awards. No, I haven't won any yet. I'm hoping to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll vote for you. Okay. Where do I vote? Uh, <laughs> what do I well, do? Well, they they choose. Uh -huh. They choose. So. Yeah. Anyway. And if, it's, if somebody wanted to see your art, where would they go? Well, they could call me on the phone. and But come to the art shows. That's come to the where, art shows. That's okay. where... Because many of the people just come and see what I do. And what's interesting, my art students, after they've come for two or three years, one man came the other night. He said, you know, every time you have an art show, you know you get better at painting. <laughs> <laughs> after 60 years? I know. <laughs> uh, did your and kids pick up your talent, by no. the way? No, None of they them didn't. paint. But they're very talented in other, in other ways. ways. Yeah, one works in wood, and my daughter oh. is a writer. Oh, I think yes, yeah. yeah. So um, they do have abilities, but uh -huh. not in the art. Aren't they? Yeah. Well, I sure want to thank you for coming to our show. Well, I thank you for having me. Yeah, it was very nice of you to invite me. I met you. Me. Where did I meet you last summer? At, it was that, that art show in um, it was on downtown Wa Washington Street. Yes, it's in that woman's I know, uh, I can't club. Think of the name Either of it. can I? Abigail something. Yes, something. Abigail Stewart. Maybe? Yes, it is. That is. It? That's it. Yeah, and yes. are you in that uh, this every year? Yes. So every twice summer, a year. twice a year. Twice a year. That was quite the big event, actually. Yes. 
there were a lot of artists there. Yes. So, well, Thank we're going to be wrapping up now. Thank you. It's been wonderful talking to you. I and thanks for showing us how to make clouds Thank out you. of soft pastels. Thank you. And you said there's 40 layers on this? No. Or 40 uh, the, colors? Four. 40 colors. Okay. I okay. probably get about eight layers. Well, that's, that's all. still quite a few. Right. right. So um, thank you so much for joining us. And I want to thank our amazing crew. Right now I think thank I'm you. looking into Bruce Tenney's camera. But uh, Jim Elder's done a lot of work enlarging these photographs for us. And so is Jerry Julian. So thanks. Thanks to Tom Dubuque. Thank, thank you for thank sharing you. your talent. And I want to thank everyone here. Too. Yes, aren't that they wonderful? I know. I they know. made my paintings <laughs> look so wonderful. So thanks. Tune in again. Yes. And I hope I thank Tom Dubuque in the control room. Hi, right. Tom. Thank Bye, you. Mr. Feeney. Yeah. So they fought a revolution, the American Revolution. Oh, we the people here decree, we've the right to life and liberty. We're all created equally in America. And we're going to live here happily in America. The English army came in boats. It was buckskin versus bright red coats. Then the Yankees won the war and wrote our country's constitution, the United States Constitution. For we the people here decree, we've the right to life and liberty. We're all created equally in America. And we're going to live here happily in America. years the pioneers crossed the frontier without rest oh the land was new when this country grew from the east coast to the west oh we the people here decree we've the right to life and liberty we're all created equally in america and we're going to live here happily in america Right to life and